personnel that you want to see for now? Well, I think, uh, you know, it's been an efficient camp. I think anybody that's watched us practice can see, I think, the efficiency you know the way we do things there's a familiarity with how we do things which which is to be expected your second year you know we'll find out you know i i, I think most coaches coming out of training camp feel their training camp went pretty well because you can control it for the most part uh, we'll, we'll find out once we start playing the games but you know i do think we're a better team leaving here than when we came you know i hopefully we have a better chemistry and we're a closer team leaving here than when we came and um uh, you know, they've, they've done everything we can ask. So now it's time to get back to Albuquerque and get ready to play. Uh, you spoke to the, the amazing facilities down here before. There's a new wrinkle this year with the, the field over at the middle school. Let's talk about the accommodations, how great it is for Lowe's to be able to come down. Yeah, I mean, from A to Z, uh, now with the completion of this um, artificial surface practice field at the middle school, you know, it's a complete package. I mean, from, the, from where they sleep at night uh, to how they're taken care of, uh, you know, you have somebody coming in, cleaning your room, bringing you clean towels every day, how they're fed. You know, it's as good as any restaurant you're going to find anyhow, any place, the way the food's catered in here. The meeting facilities, we bring our weight room down here, the practice fields, uh, everything. You know, the logistics of it are so close that it's so easy on the players. And I know they are very appreciative. You know, you talk to Dallas Boloma and Ja'Cory Greer, the guys that have been down here four times now. Um, that they wouldn't trade this experience for anything. So, you know, from A to Z, I mean, to me, it's the complete uh, training camp package. I, I wouldn't trade it for anybody else's. Classes begin on Monday. Two weeks from now, we're playing UTSA on our own field. How do things change? Obviously, it's, it's full immersion down here for the two weeks, but how does the schedule change, and how do you keep these guys on track? And ready for yeah, you know, you know, obviously, the life of a college football player, it all changes Sunday night, you know, because classes start Monday. Uh, all of a sudden you're going to class, uh, there, there may be some pretty girls sitting next to you. You may walk across that campus and have a few more distractions than you've had in Rio Dosa. You know, but that's what being a college football player is. And, you know, as far as our schedule, we'll go a little bit less against each other, just true offense, defense. We'll probably make some scout squads, you know, start to create a depth chart where we'll have some teams that go down and, you know, practice against the offense, practice against the defense you know, to get a little more schematic oriented towards UTSA and UTEP and Pitt those first three games. You know, but we're back to practicing once a day, and not, now we've got classes to deal with. Um, last night we have a barbecue. The community comes out. Kids are signing posters for them, taking pictures with people here in Rideau. So we have a group of kids go over to the Boys and Girls Club. How important is it to you that this program reaches back out to the community here in Rideau a little bit and says thank you? Well, it's important to me, number one, because – I want these players we have to get credit for the kind of kids they are and the kind of people they are and how much work they've put into it. So, you know, the more access people have to us, I think it's good for our players, and I think they deserve that. You know, this is a great group of kids. Um, you know, so I think it's as, as good as it is for the people that we interact with, I think it's every bit, if not better, for us to do it. You know, so I've been really proud of this team, and, uh, you know, I've heard nothing but compliments from people that have been around them. Tomorrow, very similar in that we have a scrimmage and then uh, the fan day, I believe. Is that what it's called, you know, Terry? The fan autograph. Yeah, Terry. whatever, the fan session for two hours. Um, again, a chance for the kids to meet the, the people in Albuquerque and interact with the community a little bit. Well, first of all, it's a chance for us just to get back in our stadium and go out there and play a game, you know, to try to make it as game-like as we can possibly make it with the officials there, uh, you know, the, 20, the 40 second clock, uh, some people hanging around in the stands, that type of thing. So, you know, for us, it's a chance to just kind of go see what we have. You know, we'll hold a lot of players out. Uh, there's not many teams now in the country that can go out there and just scrimmage just because of depth situations. But it's good for us. And then at the end of it, it you know, again, it's a chance for people to be around our players, you know, see what direction our program's headed. So it's a win-win it's a deal. Perfect. Thank you, Coach. Oh, Dave.